Hi there folks, Gareth here from tristymat.co.uk and I'm having a look at a charger. This is a solar charger in particular, sent to me by Mobile Fun. Okay, so this is $39.99 on their site currently and it's designed for, as it well, says here actually, uh, driving, camping, riding, essential equipment. Okay, uh, it's, a, it's a 40 pound solar charger, uh, as, as recommended to me. They said stick it across your dashboard while you're driving and then throw it in your bag or whatever uh, whenever you go inside and you'll have power all day. Pretty, pretty novel idea. Uh, perfect for the holidays or for the family, that sort of thing. And I'm interested to see what kind of times we get out of it, like how long it takes to charge fully and how long it'll charge your phone for how many charges you'll get out of it. It'll probably say in the manual, but we'll test it. Okay, so green saving carbon. Green saving carbon. Well, they're all capital letters, so green saving carbon, just in full stops. Uh, driving, semicolon, camping, semicolon, riding essential equipment. Now on the green saving carbon again. Right, so it's 8,000 milliamp hours. It's a 5 watt, 5 volt, 1,000 milliamp uh, solar capacity. Certified USB. Okay. Wow, it's huge. Right, uh, LG G4. Solar power adapter thing. It's not exactly going to fit in your handbag or, or your snatch. Or your or your hand, the, the small types of handbags, the snap, the, I believe they're called snatches, maybe. It's not one for the ladies to take with them, and it smells new. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Well, let's see what is in here. Okay, we have a couple of connectors here for various devices. That's a USB to micro USB. This is a, well, it's a 30 pin iPhone connector and then a Thunderbolt, lightning Thunderbolt type connector. I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called. And that just fits on there. Just and no more. Keep noticing that. It's, it's, it's mildly infuriating how this works. That you can never get it right the way down. I'm sure this one goes right the way down. No, it doesn't. And it's not even straight. Never mind. It's hardly a... It's just my particular OCD. Right. We open this up. We have a lanyardy type thing. Made out of... Uh, I have chair covers made out of this stuff. Uh, it's like, um, well, tough material. All weather material. Uh, solar panels, one, two, three, four, and then a battery. And it just folds out like that. So here's the uh, the power bank. It's glued in there. We can't we can't remove it. Okay, so there's power there and LEDs there to show how much power there is. We've got a USB and a micro USB. Then there's a little hole there for us to attach our little lanyard. It fits in no more. But it fits. It fits. There we go. It's a tight snug connector. And along here we have a white plastic protection bit, which you can see through. You can see lots of little holes there. So all of the wiring is obviously under here that connects these together and this will charge this. There's no documentation inside here to tell us anything about it, but what did they promise? Okay, press twice to turn on off LED torch. Oh! Whee! Wow! Look at that! That's uh... Well, that's going to affect air traffic. Turn, press it twice to turn it off. I can't see now. Right, there's words here. Uh, single press to show current power remains and to turn on USB output. Oh my eyes. Uh, long press 
to shut down charging. LED digits, digits, light flashing when solar panel or adapter starting charging, all lights when fully charged. Okay, so bake in sun to 100%. Keep it like that and it'll be slow charging. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, solar panels. Now we've got the input of 5 volts, so you can charge it from uh, a regular power source. Output 5 volts, capacity indicator lights, button and lanyard. <laughs> it's nicely drawn the lanyard there. Drawn by a child, maybe. Okay, so yeah, we it's fully charged at the moment, so I don't really have to do anything. I have to go and use it first to uh, to take the power away, and I need to take it down to zero. I suppose what I could do is just leave that on, and that'll uh, waste the battery. Then I'll set this out. It's kind of cloudy today. Uh, it does show a sun there, so I wonder how well it charges under interior lights as well. So we ha I have these studio lights. Uh, we could try that too over the course of a week and then I will have a look at it and you'll find out almost instantly how things happened see you in a week or in a second okay so here we are we've been running tests on this for the last week actually it's been almost two weeks since I had a go with it and to be entirely honest I haven't had a great time of it I've left this out in direct sunlight uh, on the kitchen window which points south uh, but the sun shines down into our backyard and this would pick up a bit of the sun for a decent amount of time. Uh, I've only managed to get it about a third of the way charged. I've had maybe two lights lit up here. I've left it in various places around the house in the hope of being able to get it to charge fully. Uh, I haven't been that lucky. I have, however, used it on the go, uh, where it has had one bar there. And I've been sitting out, and I've, I have laid it all out, and I've plugged my phone in and charged. And it has essentially just pushed the power through from the panels into the phone. And it's kept my phone alive that way. Uh, it's given a little bit of extra power to the phone and it's also kept the phone going for a period of about maybe an hour, which was handy. It, it was a bit of a lifesaver that one day. But other than that, I have yet to get this battery to charge off sunlight. So I, it says in uh, the description that it's ideal for setting across the dashboard of the car. And I guess that's where you would use it if you live in a sunny country. I live in Northern Ireland, sun comes out maybe two or three times a year for about an hour each time, so this sort of thing is hardly ideal. However, in a zombie apocalypse, it might be something that you might need to use just to relay a little bit, pow a little bit of power through to your phone uh, to make a, a call or send a text if absolutely necessary. Not that there's going to be any cell phone or mobile phone coverage during a zombie apocalypse, but you get the idea. It's, it's fairly well constructed. It's a useful battery to have if you happen to have one. I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase one, but you never know what's around the corner. So perhaps survivalists may say that it's a it's a handy thing to have. And it's it's so simple just to open up and get going. So that's the uh, that's the solar charger. Fairly simple. Can't heartily recommend it, but I can see where it might come in useful. Thanks very much now.